The act which is the most sinful and most serious amongst all of them which invalidated the fast it is sexual intercourse that when you have sexual intercourse and when the two private parts meet then your fast is invalidated whether ejaculation takes place or not and you have to repent for that you have to complete the fast for that day and you have to make it up later and you have to pay a penalty that's kafara according to the sahih hadith in which a beloved prophet said it's mentioned in sahih bukhari volume number 3 in the book of fasting hadith number 1936 where a man comes to the prophet and says that i am ruined oh prophet i am ruined the prophet says what is the matter the man says i had sex with my wife while i was fasting so the prophet says that can you free a slave so the man says no i cannot then the prophet asks can you fast consecutively for 2 months can you fast continuously for 60 days the man says no i cannot then the prophet says that can you feed 60 poor people and the man says no and the hadith continues in short we come to know from this hadith that if any person does a sexual intercourse it is one of the major sins it is the most serious and sinful amongst all the things that break the fast the person who does this sin he should immediately repent to allah subhanahu wa taala and ask for forgiveness he should complete his fast for that day and make up for that fast later on after ramadan and he has to pay a penalty and the penalty we come to know from the hadith is that he either frees a slave if he can if he does not have the money to free the slave or he cannot find a slave to free then he should fast for two consecutive months fast for 60 days if he cannot do that also then he should at least feed 60 poor people and these are the three options that have been given for a person to pay as a penalty as a kafara 